In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a patterned fabric material in minutes. Let's build this fabric material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. You can download a huge variation of patterns from Adobe Stock or use Photoshop or Illustrator to design your own set of patterns or patches. The important part is to make sure they tile and repeat seamlessly beforehand. Now it's time to explore different ways of how we can use patterns inside of Sampler. To get the printed on fabrics look, we drag and drop in the patch or pattern SVG into the layer stack. In the new opened window we choose image to material B2M and deactivate add a base material. This filter creates all the maps for you. Let's make the patch roughness slightly less rough. Now we make a new material by clicking onto the plus button and rename the material to patch base. For the base of our fabric structure, we use a flannel fabric material from the starter assets in the assets panel and drag and drop it into the layer stack. Let's bring in the patch base material too. As blending mode, we choose opacity blend. We click on the blending options button and reduce the height scale to zero. Now we increase the height position slightly to make the patch stand out a bit more. Finally, we activate Recompute Normals and decrease the height depth to make it less intense. Further, we rename the material and save the project frequently. Let's make another new material for a woven look and rename it. We use again the flannel fabric material as base of the fabric structure. Now we drag and drop in multiple SVG patterns into the layer stack. To project the pattern color onto the fabric, we use the channel switch filter. We choose the scan number of the pattern we want to see as input and base color as output. This makes it really easy to switch fast between patterns. We have a huge amount of blending options to define how we want to blend the pattern with the base color of the fabric. With copy we can for example simply control the visibility of the fabric or the pattern, based on the opacity. Other blending modes like multiply or overlay work similar like in other softwares and are also controlled additionally with the opacity slider. Further we can use a custom mask. To use it, we activate Use Custom Mask first and click on the brush button. Now we draw the mask in the 2D view. With Control and Mouse wheel, we adjust the size of the brush. We have also controls to blur the mask or invert it. For height adjustments, we use the normal height adjustment filter. We activate height to use the full 0 to 1 range. Now we adjust the height of the displacement in the viewport by clicking on the displacement button. Let's decrease the height scale to 0.015. If you would like to have a fabric with a furry and woven look instead of printed patterns, we take a warp filter. As noise we take BMW with a really high scale and lower the intensity a lot for a subtle deform effect, which helps us to break up the pattern. For the hairs, we use a surface relief filter. We switch the noise type to fine and choose white noise. Let's reduce the normal intensity to blend it better. This results in a nice furry look. If you later on want to change the pattern, you can simply right click onto the input image and choose open in Illustrator or Photoshop. You can then adjust it, save it, and reload layers in Sampler. To check the result in different lighting conditions, we can choose between several different environment lights, till we find one that looks great. With Shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as Sampler Archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Sentu to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. 
Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.